After an extensive period of contemplation, Argentinian president has announced in a speech that Argentina will procure 24 ex Danish F 16A fighter jets, along with AIM 9 Sidewinders and AIM 120 Amrams. Delhi based firm SMPP Private Limited is all set to supply 87,000 level 3 A ballistic helmets to the Ministry of Defense. Maldives president has asserted that India is the closest ally of Maldives, and he also expressed hope that India will provide relief in repayment of $401 million debt that consecutive Maldives governments had taken. Indian fishermen off the coast of Tamil Nadu have retrieved a Chinese HM2000 profiling float, which is a Chinese autonomous instrument developed specifically for collecting data on conductivity temperature and depth that could be helpful in submarine operations. Garuda Aerospace has launched its latest tree shul border patrol surveillance drone, that is equipped with a comprehensive suite of sensors, high-definition cameras, infrared for low-light conditions, a radar, and lidar for 3D mapping. Subgroup has secured a contract with the Swedish Defense Material Administration, to conduct conceptual studies for the country's next-generation stealth fighter jet. Airbus and Boeing are caught in a strategic tug of war with the Indian government, as both companies are under pressure to establish final assembly lines in India. The Indian Air Force is gearing up for the Gigant Shakti exercise from 1st April, that will include all assets to comprehensively test war preparedness and firing capabilities. The United States Air Force aims to replace the F-22 with the next-generation air dominance fighter jet, that will cost around $300 million per aircraft. A Russian ballistic missile submarine has been spotted with a cage-like anti-drone armor, as a protective mechanism to prevent attacks from drone-launched munition in the harbor. India's AMCA fifth-generation fighter jet will get low probability of intercept radar technology, which is a cornerstone of modern stealth aircraft. The LPIR technology functions by minimizing aircraft radio frequency emissions, making them significantly harder to detect by conventional radar systems. The LPIR technology in the AMCA radar will allow finding and tracking an opponent without alerting them to the radar's presence. That will allow the AMCA to penetrate enemy airspace undetected, and will increase AMCA's chances of evading enemy radar and missile threats. In an interview to Bharat Shakti, the former head of the DRDO has reignited discussions regarding the development of a longer-range tactical ballistic missile. He has proposed the development of a non-nuclear tactical missile with a range of 1,200 km to 2,000 km purely for strategic role, and he emphasized the potential for a cost-effective approach to this project. He also said, that the BrahMos ER missile can strike targets at 800 km, and that the BrahMos has the capability to be developed into a much higher range missile. Indian firm Edge Force Solutions has developed a new unmanned ground vehicle known as Astro V2, also known as Autonomous Forward Multi-Mission Supportive Medium Range Unmanned Ground Vehicle. It features on-road and off-road autonomous capability, versatile daylight and hybrid driving modes for adaptability, and is capable of reconnaissance surveillance and warning operations, signals and communication intelligence, as well as logistics and casualty evacuation. Today's top 3 comments